In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust and use a torque wrench. This one I have on hand is a 25 to 250 foot pound uh, half inch torque wrench. And if you need it for a smaller job, I also have this 25 to 250 inch pound 3 8 inch torque wrench. Just as a comparison, I'll put it side by side. You can see the length of the, of the two. Now, both of these are what they call a click type uh, torque wrench. And the reason they call it that is because when you reach that specific torque setting, you actually hear a clicking sound to tell you to stop. Now, let me focus on the uh, torque setting here. Okay. There's a gauge here. See if you can see this for the foot pounds. Okay. What I'm going to set this to is 90 foot pounds. So I'm going to pull this collar back and I'm going to turn it. As I turn this, the dial is going to go up in foot pounds. I'm going to set this to 90 foot pounds. Here's 85. You see that the 85 is here, is lined up with the zero. That's 85. If I add five more pounds, that's going to be 90 foot pounds. So let me grab my socket. What I'm going to do here is put the socket on the lug and I'm going to push this down to tighten it. until it clicks. Stop. So that's okay. 90 foot pounds. After you do, you're done with this bolt, you go to the one across it. Now you don't want to do the one adjacent because you want to torque down the bolts evenly. Okay? So. stop right there. Now one thing you don't want to do is when you're torquing these down is to have one hand on the end here okay, or hold the bar here because that will affect the accuracy of the torque wrench. So, so all you want to do is one smooth motion tighten the lugs until you hear the click. Next one over. And that's it. And all the bolts are now 90 foot pounds. This is how you use a torque wrench. Now a couple of things to point out is that when you're done with a torque wrench, always, you got to do this all the time, okay, is to release pressure on the spring, the spring in here, and bring the scale back down to the minimum. Okay, in this case it's going to be 25 foot pounds. This, 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 this is how you want to store it, the lowest setting. So I've brought this back down to the lowest setting and you don't want to drop this because if you drop it you can uh, basically get this out of calibration. It won't be accurate. Okay. And after you're done with the torque wrench and you've brought the settings back down to the lowest, put it back in the case that I came with. You're ready to use it again next time. All right. Now the other thing is if you want to loosen bolts I recommend using either a regular pocket set or breaker bar. This is a breaker bar, okay? Try not to use a torque wrench to loosen to bolts. If you want to loosen a bolt, there's a breaker bar, and you can use this to loosen the lugs. So for those of you who are interested in learning how to properly torque down your lug nuts, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you want to buy a torque wrench, check out the link below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.